Hey, how's it going? So it's been a while since I made a video, but in this video today, I'm going to be showing you guys something very useful, especially a lot of you that have the HP Pavilion P-Series laptops. So I'm going to show you how to replace the mechanical hard drive with a solid state drive. Um, as you can see, or as you may know, this laptop is really, really slow. And most of that is due to the mechanical hard drive. Mine used to take about a minute and a half to boot up, as you can see here from this demonstration. So without wasting any further time, let's get straight on to the tools that we actually need to complete this. So those are the essentials. Now in terms of recommended options, you can pick up a tool set such as this mobile phone repair kit that I got on Amazon. And of course you can also use gloves as well. I do also recommend you get some sort of organizer to help assort your tools and screws as well. And to avoid short circuiting any components, I'd also recommend you use something like an anti-static wrist strap. Okay, so let's start off with the hardware. Obviously you're gonna need the new SSD. And for me, I'm doing a fresh install, so I have a USB flash drive with Windows 10. I'd also recommend you back up your system. You can use an external hard drive or do it internally using the SATA data and power to USB cable adapter. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is shut down your PC and take out the battery as well. And then just simply grab your screwdriver now I did mention using a Phillips head, but this is a flat head. It's gonna work the same even if you use a Phillips head. Just simply take out the two rubber feet at the bottom of the laptop and there should be a screw located under each of them. Now some laptops may have this additional section for a screw. If yours does, please remove that, but yours should also have the middle screw as well. So actually you need to bear in mind that some of the screws aren't uh, the same size. So make sure you keep them separately. And again, there's also another little notch on the far right. So if there's a screw there, please remove it. And these are all the screws that you need to take out. Now there's also one hidden underneath this white tab. So make sure you take that one out as well. But you need to remove the tab in order to get into uh, the section for where the screw is. So the next thing you need to do is remove the hinge covers for the laptop. And there's also two screws, one located under each hinge cover. So make sure you take it off. And then next we need to take out the optical drive as well. And there should be another screw located underneath the optical drive bay, so make sure you take that out. And now we're going to start prying out the keyboard from the frame itself. So again, you have some spudgers, pry tools that you could use. Even if you have something like a credit card uh, type of card, then just use that to help you pry out the keyboard. The best thing to do is actually start from the bottom or closest to the touchpad and then make your way around the sides. Now just make sure you're being very careful when you're going around. Um, you want to take it to the left and then bring it towards the top uh, near the screen of the laptop and just simply wedge away with the plastic spudger. When you have a bit of a leeway just take your fingers run it along the top and then bring it towards the right side. Now this part may be a little bit stiff compared to the left, but there's a reason for that and I'll show you later on. But be firm, but very careful. And once the keyboard is completely free, you can just simply lift it up, slide down, and you should see this flex cable. Don't lift up the keyboard too high, just simply unlock the cable and then remove the cable itself. Lift up the laptop, slide it to the right, and there should be another flex cable, so just unlock it and remove the cable. And then finally, there's just one more flex cable to remove, so slide the laptop up and then just simply unlock it again and remove the cable. And as you can see, this is the reason why it was very stiff, because it has this honeycomb locking mechanism, which makes it a little bit harder to remove. And now we can move over to the hard drive section. So just unlock that flex cable and simply tuck it away. Then just remove the flex cable for the SATA data and power. 
and tilt your laptop screen forward so your laptop doesn't fall backwards and just simply remove the adapters and the SATA data and power uh, adapter as well so basically take off the two side adapters and the SATA data and power and then just grab your new SSD and reconnect those components to your SSD and if we take a look at the housing you can see there's four notches so make sure you align the adapter correctly and then I would recommend you slide from the left side down and then just reconnect the SATA data and power flex cable and make sure you lock it in place and of course we also have the very first flex cable that we took off so just align it and lock it in place now I would grab some sort of book or anything just to kind of help the laptop stay tilted while you're connecting the flex cables for the keyboard. Technically we should connect the flex cables in reverse order but I'd actually connect the big one first then the bottom one and then the top one. Now at this point I wouldn't go clicking the keyboard back in place just yet. I'd connect the battery, turn it on and just test out the keyboard. Once you know that everything is working, you can then start clicking in place. And that's pretty much most of it. But for me, I am actually doing a fresh install, so I went through that process, which is pretty straightforward. So, once everything's done, just click it all back in place. You can do it whatever way you like, from top to bottom, left to right, bottom to top, it doesn't really matter. Uh, there's no... Uh, precedence when it comes to clicking it back in place so again just take out the battery and then grab your set of screws and the first one we'll actually start off with is the optical drive bay just because that one can be easily forgotten and then grab the two hinge covers and put in the screws first and then put the hinge covers in place now I would actually recommend you put in the screw with the white tab uh, so just put in the screw and then put the tab in place okay so here I've highlighted the screws that you should put in and that's basically everything in green now in the black you can see that's for the optical drive bay so we'll have to wait till that's in place so next just reinsert the screws for the battery section again if you have the ones on the left and the right make sure you put those in so now we can actually reinsert the screws for the two hinges and then just simply attach the rubber feet as well then just take your optical drive slide it back in place and reattach that screw that we were waiting to put in so the last part is to just reattach your battery and turn on your machine and this time if we compare the speeds you can see the difference is just insane in comparison to a hard disk drive and that's the reason why you should get an SSD. Anyway, if this video helped you out, please make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.